Hey everybody, we are back with another Walking Dead review. This time reviewing Fear the Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 2, titled So Close Yet So Far. And also bear in mind that everything we say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler, so if you haven't seen the episode yet, you're going to want to skip this video and come back later. First of all, probably my favorite thing about this episode is Travis and Maddie have decided to just GTFO. Yeah, like, like uh, one of the biggest problems in horror in the horror genre is that uh, people do stupid things, like run yeah. upstairs when running away from somebody, yeah. or um, you know, a whole or bunch they, of stuff's going stay down. In and, the yeah, haunted house. Yeah, or, exactly. And so this one here is, you know. This guy was shot and then hit by a car twice, and he's still alive. That's not normal. Yeah. And so they're, they immediately are like, okay, we need to go to the desert where there's less people. Yeah, they, they've put the puzzle pieces together, which characters in horror generally don't do. And I really appreciate that as Me a viewer. Too. That, I, I like to think that s at least some of the people in these situations are smarter and smart enough yeah. to know... Like, I mean, I'm sorry, but if I see somebody who, like, gets shot 14 times and doesn't die, I'd probably GTFO too. I'd be yeah. like, all right, let's just, like, not stay yeah. here. <laughs> and another one of the things that I really liked about this episode is when they're actually driving away from, basically, the scene of Calvin's death, Nick is fiddling with the radio, and he's like, why is nobody talking about this? And I, I it's just a very subtle thing, but... It just kind of shows how quickly this happened. Like, yeah. that was the beginning of the episode. It's like nobody's talking about it. And by the end of the episode, all hell is breaking loose. Yeah, but not... He says, why is nobody talking about this? But if you listen, they are. They just don't realize that's what they're talking about. Because one of the newscasters says, there's been 23 reported cop shootings mm, today. Yeah. You know, like, they are talking about it. They just don't realize that that's what they're talking right. about. They don't know. They can't recognize it. So we speculated in our video last week about what might have happened to Matt. Um, we did, did, he, did he get bit? Did he, did he turn? Did he die? What happened? We find out that he did get bit, but he hasn't turned yet. And of course, Alicia did go to check on him. And I thought for sure that they were going to decide to bring him with them in order to take care of him. But in, a, in a very, another very smart move for a horror genre, they decided to leave, leave him at home and let his parents deal with him whenever <laughs> they get back. See, this is the this is the one scene that I didn't get because if um, he tells Alicia to leave, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry, what person with a fever tells somebody to leave? Like, yeah. I mean, he may I, maybe he saw. I mean, he was bit, so obviously he saw something, and yeah. he probably doesn't want her to get it. But and not only that, but what teenage girl sees the love of her life sick? And leaves well, like she didn't put up her, yeah and she didn't put up much of a fight and I just I, I was a, not super happy with that scene I was like I think she should have protested more I think her parents should have had to drug her out um, because it just didn't seem like that's something a teenage girl would do mm -hmm. and also we got to catch up with Tobias in this yes. episode <laughs> which Tobias is easily in my top two favorite characters yeah. even though he's had like seven minutes of total screen time <laughs> I want more of Tobias, and I want to see his backstory, what little of it there is, because he's obviously seen something, well, he says on the internet. Yeah, he says he's, he's researched it on the internet, but um, he just seems very intelligent, and... It, Way more <laughs> together than most other people in the situation. Yeah, um, you know, they, some mess-ups on this is, like, he goes in and he gets all this canned food, and then they get attacked by the principal, and they leave the canned food. And I'm like, he seemed smarter than that. I think he would have kept the canned food. I don't think he would have left it. That didn't seem like a very I, bright I, move. I actually, I think that was an editing mistake, because this episode was a little sloppy. Yeah, as it was. we that kind uh, of stuff goes. We saw uh, quite a few little uh, tiny mistakes. Well, it didn't the, really take from the episode. It was just kind of like, the, ah, was, they missed that. There was two that yeah. really kind of threw threw us off. You, and you you caught the one. Yeah. The, the one was, you know, with, with the food. I'm like, he went there to get the food. Yeah, and then he left without it. Yeah. That didn't make any I'm sense. Like, that was right. a, yeah. Uh, so, okay, whatever. <laughs> but then, um, 
Alicia with the gloves. Yeah, um, after Nick she, has his seizure, she's cleaning it up, and as she's talking to him, she takes her gloves off, and then it goes to Nick, and then it goes back to her, and she's wearing her gloves, and she takes them off again. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like, like uh, after the power yeah. goes out, she's still wearing the gloves, and she, so she takes her gloves off twice. Yeah, and like right in a row. <laughs> that's just sloppy editing, yeah. and I really expect better than that from the, uh, the people who run the show. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was very obvious. I was yeah, like, it, uh, she just took those off. That person was not doing their job. The person who was supposed to catch that, they weren't doing their job that day. Um, back to Tobias, though. I was really disappointed that he decided to stick it out at home. Yeah. Um, I want him to be part of the group. Yeah, and I kind of understand. He does later. I understand. Uh, he, yes, he's really smart, and it would be smarter to go in the desert, but he's also a teenage boy whose parents aren't home. He's going to probably wait it out at home and hope they get there. Um, but I imagine he blockades himself in the house and doesn't come out. I think he survives. <laughs> yeah, he seems like the kind of, the kind of kid who w is pretty capable. He's unable to fight off the Walker principle um, when they're in the school. But that was more because his knife just wasn't good enough. Yeah, like he, like he did try to stab him in the head. Like he stabbed him in the chest once and he's like, well, that doesn't work. And he goes for the head and it doesn't penetrate. And that, all that goes, you know, maybe the, the knife was a little too dull. Well, it's a tiny, fresh. it looks like a steak knife. Yeah, well, yeah, it looks like it's a little, <laughs> yeah. pretty, pretty small knife. But then it also shows that, you know, this is a very fresh walker. Yeah. Very fresh their, zombie. Their skull's still There's, pretty hard. Yeah, we, we, when you look at the, the regular show, they're they're pretty mushy. Yeah, and, they're all rotted out and, and stuff. And then the, the zombies going on right now in Fear the Walking Dead are much more sturdy. Yeah. So I, I think he's, he's smart. He'll figure it out. I do still hold out hope that he is going to meet up with the group later. I really hope so. I, I, I think like maybe on their way out, she just kind of goes by to see if he's okay. And he's like, you know what? I'm out of here with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> this was a mistake. I should have yeah. gone with you. I really hope we do get more of Tobias because aside from Nick, I think Tobias is my favorite character. Yeah, Nick's my favorite character. Tobias is definitely second. I really yeah. like Tobias. And finally, in another very smart move for a horror genre show or film, Maddie stops Alicia from running outside to help the neighbor as she's getting attacked by a zombie. Yes. That would never happen in any other horror show. Yeah. They're, of she, course they're going to run outside yeah, and help. But Maddie's also seen it twice now up yeah. front. She saw Cal and then she saw the principal. So there's two people that she saw they just don't die and they yeah. just keep coming at you now they don't all know that you have to die in order for the virus to take effect because you know travis kind of uh he mentions that they die but they don't but they come back um and it's just kind of like a little tiny bit of dialogue when they're in the barber shop um so it seems like he's connected the dots but maddie feels like like after when she comes back from the school after um, killing the principal, she is distraught. She is like, "What did I just do?" So I don't think she's connected the dots that they're dead. Mm -hmm. I think she thinks she well, the killed fact him. That she tried to talk to him. Yeah, like she was trying to talk to him, yeah. um, and then he kept coming at. So then she kills him, and so she thinks she killed him. Yeah. She doesn't realize that he was already dead. I, I think. Travis, on some level, recognizes that they aren't sentient anymore. Yeah, that it's and, not them. And Maddie doesn't. Yeah, Maddie hasn't connected those dots yet. Okay, and I, I think that's pretty much everything we wanted to talk about in this review. If there's anything you think we should have talked about and we didn't, mm -hmm. let us know about that in the comments. <laughs> and uh, also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.